that this is literally at all high priority, but um, the radio in my car was aftermarket and um, was so old that it didn't have Bluetooth. And so they had like the little cigarette lighter, like Bluetooth thingies that go to the radio, but on the washboard that disconnects and reconnects constantly. It's so annoying. So I bought a new radio super cheap on Amazon. It's like $20 on Amazon and tried to install it, but the DIN that I had, it didn't work with. It, it like wouldn't fit. And so I had to wait for that to come in. I have three pieces of wiring here. This is to the radio. Uh, this is the regular old wire harness. If you still had your factory one, I don't still have my factory one. So I have bought a new factory one that I will re-splice back into the car because they didn't leave very much wire left when they did that uh, install. And there's plenty of room back there for all of this to just get shoved. So yeah, this is the one that goes in the car. So it needs to go away. <laughs> uh, and then these two need to get put together. Who is A and B? Like, speaker output. B. Okay. Power antenna and the power inputs is A. Which is confusing because they put B on top of A. <laughs> Battery direct connect is A4, which is yellow. And it's in A2. No. Neither of these are A4. Oh, do you look at it from this direction? It's in A4 if it's from this direction. Okay, so you look at them this way. This is starting to feel above my pay grade. <laughs> so, uh, the other thing that I got are um, solder wire connectors. So you just apply a heat gun. I don't know how they will work, but it came with a boatload of these red ones, which is I think the size that I want. The reason I'm doing this half first is so I have practice with, the, with these little crimpers before I get out there um, where things are a little bit more cramped. Okay, so is there a diagram on this? Oh, there is. Uh, and there's one on here. Oh my gosh. That might have made my life a lot easier. Okay. Okay, are these two? So this is for this and this is for that. Are they the same? Left rear positive, green, left rear negative, green and black. Okay, those are all the same. It says that there's a blue and a white and a black and white amp turn on amp ground. That's not on this. This packaging for that piece is not very accurate. So this package is, okay. So for, okay, let's just pick green and black. Green and black is left or negative. And green and black is the last one on, uh, the A terminal, no, B, well, A and B are the same, the numbers are the same. So it's, it's position eight. Um, so on position eight, speaker is left rear negative. Left rear, left rear, yeah, so the colors are gonna be color coded. Okay, so I did need that. Cause these ones are scored for me already, but these aren't. Okay. No, bad dog. That's how you get burned. That doesn't feel like you should do it inside. It was like catching on fire and shit. I'm just gonna let this cool and see if it worked. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. I mean, it's the fucking going, it's a wire harness. That's good enough. Okay, left rear green, left rear plus. Seven, perfect, beautiful. Okay, uh, do I have, I do. Let's put this on here so we can check them off. Okay, the purples are right rear. They are positions one and two, which is right rear. So, 
they're just gonna get a little overlappy. Positive is gonna be plain, and negative is gonna be striped, which is correct for either one. Okay, that's all the purples. White and blacks are the left front positive and negative. Um, and the whites on this are five and six. So we are on left front, five and six is left front. Okay, so the whites are the same. In case anybody's worried about me, the window's open. I have the whole window's open. I have good ventilation <laughs> as I'm burning plastic inside my house. The shitty thing about this project is that like, I'm putting wires together in two places. So for whatever reason, things don't work. It's like, well, does it not work because of me installing that harness into the car or because of what I'm doing here. <laughs> That's not good, but it can't be helped. Cool. That's where I'm at so far. I just have red, yellow, and orange left. Power connection. Okay, so I have the option for battery direct connection for memory. 12 volt, correct, that's yellow. Yellow to red. So we're gonna write yellow, we're gonna put yellow, Y for yellow. So we're going red to yellow. Ignition switch, 12 volt, red. Battery chassis ground black. Okay, that one we can get rid of. Like, well, I mean, we have to ground it, but like, I know I don't need to do anything with the black. We can like masking tape the black off. Black's out of the picture. I have three wires and I have Three wires. <laughs> Power antenna blue. This doesn't have blue. What does this say? I have red, yellow, no blue for the power antenna, which is fine. I think that just means I cap that one off. Orange is illuminate. That's standard. I'm pretty sure orange is illuminate for a lot of stuff, but there is no orange on here. Orange gets capped and it's literally red, yellow. But the way that this is saying red, it, red is ignition switch and yellow is, oh, for memory. Wow, I literally didn't read that at all. You guys have listened to me say this. <laughs> I've been saying it correctly. I've been like not comprehending it correctly. Okay, so I'm pretty sure power antenna goes bye-bye. Red and yellow are gonna match. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> oh my God. No. Okay. This is where I'm at. Cue the TikTok song that's like, it's just a thing of beauty, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that is about as good as that part's gonna get. Obviously, I taped all this up to look nice. I didn't tape up over the connectors because they're like melted on, and I didn't want to put a lot of stress on all the wires being different lengths. There is a thing, I don't remember what it's for. They capped it off. It's gonna be capped off on mine. It's extra. And so that goes over to the factory um, replacement that I bought. Plugged that into this. And we got it over to the wires for the stereo. I got the ground sol um, soldered together. And then I've just been covering these with blue tape because I've been driving around like this and I didn't want to lose it back. Um, so I can tape the tape off now and because I'm gonna plug it all in and see if it works. 
Uh, and then I also, the antenna, I mean, I it would reach. Once it's all plugged in, it would reach. But, like, I really couldn't get it together because once you get the din all going, it's a pain. So I bought an extender. Um, so this all should be able to reach far enough out that I can test it without really having to install it. I have plenty of wire here. So let me try and plug everything in and see if it works. This scared me for a second because it was actually turned off. Uh... And so I was like, I turned on the accessory mode and nothing happened. I was like, oh no. And then I did this and I got static. Yay. Are you searching? Hey. That's awful though. But everything is going to be all right. That's a nice little sentiment to hear. Okay, it's been a little while since I did the radio. It definitely works. I've been using it for like the last week. Um, and I wanted to come in and update you all because I found one of these faceplates. I'm a little bit bummed that it's pretty yellow, but uh, I found a new faceplate because mine is all cracked. I tried to glue some of the pieces together. It worked actually, but I'm just missing all the extra plastic pieces to be able to fix it completely. Uh, so I replaced it, um, which was really fun because the AC switch has to um, be front mounted, so you have to take it apart, and the, there's a plug for that switch actually behind the glove box. Glove box is just zip tied in, so I had to cut my zip ties um, and get in there, and that switch was like, like that plug was totally like fused together after 25 years of being hot in the desert so that was really fun but uh overall i got it um and i think the only thing still not working is the resistor for the fan i only have uh the fan on the top two that's also behind the glove box so i just looped my zip ties really loose i'll take a screwdriver and pry them open i have a resistor ordered um and it'll be like 30 bucks and then my fans will blow correctly I don't want to hear a word about my outfit. Um, I am in a hurry to get out of town and it is 101 degrees in Palm Springs so I want my resistor in here and it came in the mail yesterday. So we're going to hurry up and pop this puppy in. Fuck it. I don't care about the zip ties. I am in too big of a hurry. resistor is literally broken. I'll show you close up in a sec. I am pretty sure that little piece right there is supposed to be connected to something. Probably that coil right there. Makes sense why it didn't work. Okay, before I screw it in, Beautiful, easy peasy, just one screw. this vehicle is the fact that I can do this uh, and then obviously um, you can hear it uh, 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 uh. and then I'm um, pretty sure the CV is totally shot um, well not totally because I'm still driving on it but it's clicking and feels weird boots totally torn not sure yeah, you don't think you could catch it over there but uh, my shifter is really acting up um, 
didn't want to didn't want to register that it was in park to be able to put it in gear. Once I got it in gear, um, and I went to go put it in reverse to be able to back up and pull it in here to be able to work on this, um, it didn't want to go into reverse. It got stuck in park. So, good. Solid. Listen, if I break any of these lugs, I very well may cry. like $200 of stuff here. Uh, but it's probably worth it. I keep running into this issue. So I bought an impact wrench, a full deep and short socket extension, blah, 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 the whole kit. I don't know, there's like a hundred pieces or something in here. They're Harbor Freight, but I looked up the reviews. Apparently they're pretty good. I'm a little hesitant to get the uh, Ryobi because my other Ryobi wasn't working, but I think it's just, that other one's not meant for this. This is meant for this. So take two. the new one out of the box but I think that's the problem. Obviously the boat's totally split open but
this is a, a new one? Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, it has this cap on it right here. This goes right in there, cap off the crates. Well, so it wasn't in there or was it? It got caught. It has like a little lip. And oh, it and got it got caught, caught and fell off. Right in the sand. Okay, no, you're okay. So, uh, what was wrong with this one? The boot? You had a yeah, the boot was totally torn open and I was getting clicking and stuff, but actually when I pulled it off, I don't really know what I'm dealing for. The old one's over there if you want to feel it. I don't know if it necessarily felt bad, but I don't know what I'm feeling for either, so. Right, right. Well, yeah, it was wasted. some leaks under there i know but they're not they're old i need to get some engine degreaser in there and see what's going on because i'm not losing very much i planned on being like way done way done like an hour at least an hour ago when i put this sheave on this pulley it goes clunk and it's it's steel to steel it's hard steel to suit clunk and yet i have to get it far enough in where the where there's threads to spread the threads aren't even showing yet Something's going wrong. And I'm, another, I'm Googling you it. You want another set of eyeballs over there? I mean, you could come over and I'll show you. Okay, I see it. Do you? Yeah, where's the magnet? Do you have a little magnet? Nope. Finish mine tomorrow. Okay. I'm putting the last. I mean, I'm two bolts away. Oh, I'm yeah. putting the last two bolts on there. I'll start this trip tomorrow. Cool. I am wearing the same clothes for day two of this project because there's no point in getting dirty another set of clothes. <laughs> so, strut. That's the project. somebody's private property. I mean, like the house is right here. It's not like I'm at the back of the property and you go all the way in and then go, wait, shit, this is a house. Like they go basically through a gate. People, jeez.
to turn right. One's 24 and one's 25. Okay, so that problem is solved. There we go. That was not easy. The little grommet that it goes through, like the bottom it was like not wanting to get behind it. So it would have just popped off at some point. Awesome, okay. It's not squeaking and it's not bowing like I'm 500 pounds. Yay! That's so exciting. New Homestead Year's resolution. Happy dances! Right on! All right, all right. 